Hey guys, welcome back to Scanning the Mind. My name's Sancho, I'm a psychiatry trainer in the UK. Varun makes up the other half of Scanning the Mind, however he's been knocked out by the Rona, so he can't be here today. Get well soon, Varun. In this video, I'm going to be addressing some of the common misconceptions the public and other doctors have about psychiatry and psychiatrists. So to kick it off, one of the most common misconceptions I hear from people is that they think psychiatrists and psychologists are exactly the same thing. Psychiatrists are medical doctors. We go to medical school for five years, followed by two years of foundation training, which we rotate through lots of different medical and surgical specialties. So taking myself as an example, I've worked in a range of specialties from respiratory medicine to oncology to ENT surgery. Only after you've done this training can you make the decision to specialise in one area of medicine or a particular specialty and that's where I've got to in my training so far. I've picked psychiatry as the career that I want to go into and that's what I'm specialising in. Psychologists on the other hand aren't medical doctors, they are people that have studied psychology at university and they don't go through the same training that we do, they have their own pathway. A lot of psychologists do complete PhDs and become doctors of psychology and that may be where some of the confusion comes from as they also have doctor as their title. The core aspects of a psychologist and a psychiatrist role in patient care are very different. The core aspect of a psychiatrist role is in the diagnosis diagnosing and treatment planning for patients who are suffering with a mental illness. Psychological therapies often form a large and important aspect of this treatment plan and this is where the psychologists come in. Psychologists are the experts in delivering psychological therapies such as cognitive behavioural therapy as many of you have probably heard about. This leads on to the second misconception that I know that a lot of people have and that is that psychiatrists just want to prescribe everyone medications. Whilst it is true that for some patients and for some symptoms medications are necessary. For example, if someone is suffering from hallucinations, delusions or severe depression. However, there are a host of other treatment options that psychiatrists do take into account, such as psychological therapies as we talked about earlier. Where possible, treatment plans are always discussed in conjunction with the patient and all treatment options are explored thoroughly before a decision is made. For example, if a patient is very against taking medication and they would like to try some talking therapies or some other social interventions first, then a psychiatrist won't push medication on that patient because the chances are they're not going to take it and it's not going to work. So it really is a decision that's made between the psychiatrist and the patient. When this is not possible, for example, when the patient does not have insight into their mental health problems, or if they're just too unwell to make decisions at that point in time, then the treatment plan is formulated in conjunction with the wider medical team and also the patient's family. So while medications are very important and at times are vital for the treatment plan for a patient, a psychiatrist's role is much more than just prescribing medications. The final misconception I wanted to address is that some people think that in psychiatry, the patient should just don't get better. I think there are a few areas where this misconception stems from. One, on medical and surgical specialties, the stay of a patient is much shorter and there's a much larger turnover of patients. This makes it seem like in psychiatry wards, the patients aren't getting better because they're there for such a long time. Another aspect people I think don't take into account is that only the most unwell patients get admitted to psychiatry wards. The vast majority of patients are treated at home, either through their GP or specialist psychiatric services. In psychiatry, treatments do take longer to take effect, and therefore it does take longer for patients to get better. There is no special pill or intervention that can magic away someone's problems. Things take time, whether that's taking medication or having talking therapies. But I must stress, patients do get better. There is a proportion of patients that suffer from something we call severe and enduring mental illness. And the aim for these patients is to help them better cope with their mental health problems and to help them better function in society independently. However, these patients make up a small proportion of people suffering from mental health problems in the UK. Thanks for watching guys. If you've liked this video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. If you've got any questions for me or any comments to make, please leave them down in the comments box below and we'll see you next week.